Hi, welcome back. Good to see you. One of the issues that causes beginning teachers the most anxiety when they start this job or parent conference is so I'm going to give you a parent conference checklist to help prepare you for uh, those parent conferences that you're inevitably going to end up with. There is a 100% chance that you're going to end up uh, involved in parent conferences if you teach for any amount of time. The first and most important is identifying if there's an IEP. You should know if your students have IEPs and have read all of your student IEPs. But particularly if you're getting ready for a parent conference, you definitely need to know if there's an IEP and you definitely need to know what it says in the IEP as far as uh, modifications or accommodations that you need to make for this student. So uh, take a look, see if there's an IEP and make sure you're current with what the IEP says. So check that off. The next is print out a copy of the grade so that you can show the students what is missed or show the parent what is missing and um, uh, what has been completed, what the grades are. And at this time, it's appropriate for you to share your policy. What is your makeup policy? What can that student make up for full credit? What can that student make up for half credit? What will you no longer accept as far as uh, makeup work goes? So have your have two copies of the grades printed out, one for you, one for the parent. So there you go, check that off. Um, have your attendance printed out. There's a direct correlation between attendance and grades. And at the middle school and high school level, there may be some skipping going on. So this is an appropriate time to show the parent when the student is in class, when they're not in class. Um, this is the time to do it is to show them the attendance. So there you go, check that off. If you've communicated with the uh, parent previously, take a look at your notes, see what you shared with them. Um, I'll check that off real quick. And then uh, write down what you would like to communicate with the parent. You might be a little bit nervous, so this is a really good time to write down on a sheet of paper what you would like to communicate and what, uh, what questions you have. Certainly you wanna write down on there what are your policies for makeup work? What is the student missing? So that you can share them with uh, the, the parent. And most importantly, keep it clinical. Again, don't make it personal. Just like a doctor uh, talking to a patient who's been diagnosed with something serious, uh, don't get emotional. This is not a time to explain to the parent all of the flaws that their student has. Uh, they already know it. They, they have the student, and while they may defend the student publicly with you, they know what's going on. So um, this is a time to simply stick to facts. Your student did this, which resulted in this disciplinary action. Your student did not complete this work, which is why the student has a zero. Your student uh, is talking to X, Y, and Z. Um, again, don't get mad. Just keep it clinical, which is uh, uh, this is what happened. Give them facts and then let them deal with the facts. If you stick to uh, this little checklist right here, your first parent conferences should go fine. You'll do uh, a great job in there. Just relax. At our school, typically we meet with the guidance counselor and all of the teachers. So uh, I know when I go into a parent conference, I'm not alone. Hopefully you're in the same situation. And if you're not, maybe invite some other teachers to contribute to the uh, conversation as well. Hope this helps. Keep being heroes out there. Have a great school year. Talk to you soon. If you learned anything from the video, please click the like button and think about subscribing. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.